Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the range intersection feature in Excel to do lookups. What range intersection is, is basically an individual cell that has two ranges in common. So for example, uh, this range from D1 to D5, well really from D2 to D5, and from uh, B4 to E4, what they have in common is the cell, 967. So if we do quarter 3 in East, we do quarter 3, and then we do east, it'll come out with 967, which is that value. And basically, this is how you can do a lookup within a table using the range intersection feature. Now, the intersection operator is basically a space character. So, so as I mentioned, the intersection operator is a space character. So what, what, what I can do to kind of highlight, how show how that's done, we have uh, D2 to D5. So I put D2 colon D5, right? That's that range selector. Now it gives you a value because basically uh, there's no, nothing to output out of that. Uh, it's a range of cells. But if I put a space here and I use B4 to E4, I do B4 colon E4, it's going to give me 967. And that's because I have my space character here. And as I said before, the intersection operator is a space character. So how do we create something like this where I automatically have it where I can do a selection, I can select uh, the different quarters, and I can select the different regions, and it'll give me that value. And and, and I'll show you what uh, how we'll do these uh, drop downs here, and what this means when we use this indirect function to do that. So let's see how we can do that. Let me go into a new sheet. Now here's our new sheet, and we have our the exact table that we have here, and what we need to do is we need to uh, define some name ranges. So so what we need to do is we need to define some name ranges. So basically what that means is if I select uh, this range of cells, there's a there, there should be a name for it and the name will be quarter one. And this range of cells would be quarter two, this range of cells quarter three, this one quarter four. And the same here with north and south. This range of cells from B2 to E2 should be called north uh, and the same here with south. B3 to E3 should be called south. Now there's an easy way to do it here. What we can do is we can select our range of cells here and go under formulas and go under create from selection. And you can also use the keyboard shortcut. You can see here control, shift, and the F3. I'm just going to go ahead and select the command here from the ribbon under the formulas tab. After I select, clicked on that, it will ask me which, where do I create the names from value? So I want to create names from the top row, which is this top row. I also want to create names from the left column, which is the column A here. So once I click OK, you can see like really nothing really happens. But if I go into the name manager, I click on the name manager, you'll see now that it has created the um, names and identifying the ranges for them. So you see east here, it's gonna, it has brought back the values 898, 735, 967. Let me go ahead and scoot this out a little bit and then 705. So basically it's created all that. Now go ahead and click close. So one thing I also want to do is create a name range uh, that looks gives a name to that row and gives a name to uh, that range of uh, cells in that column. So I'm going to select this and, that, and there's another way to create a name range. You can either go under define name or we can actually just type it in the name box here. So if I typed in just period here that will define the name for that range. So if I go in Name Manager here, you'll notice now I have something called period, and it's the values that it's brought back is quarter one, quarter two. Let me go ahead and scoot this out, quarter three and quarter four. I'll go ahead and click Close. I'll do the same thing for North, South, East, West. I'll select that set of cells, and here I'll type in region, right, and press Enter. And that's going to create a, a name for that range of cells. Now what I want to do is I want to create a data validation list. and to, and create that drop down list here. So I'm going to call this one, I'll call this one region, and I'll call this one uh, period. All right, and I'm going to give them a different color so we know how to tell them apart. Let me go ahead and select, go back to home, select the blue color. And for here, what I'm going to do is I want to create that drop down. And to create that drop down, what I need to do is go under data and then go under data validation here. So once I click on data validation, I'm going to select data validation here. The window is going to come up and I want to allow a list. So the list is what I want to choose. And the source, what I'm going to do is put the name that I created for region. So basically, I can 
either type it in or I can press F3. It's going to come up with the paste name box and the one I want is region and click OK. And you can see it says equal region, so basically that's the name that we created for A2 to A5. So I click OK and once that's done, you'll notice now that I have my regions here. I have my regions north, south, east, west because it picked it up from that name range. I can do the same here for period. I go into data validation, go under list here, and then I'll can, I can just type equal period because that's the name I remember for it. So once I click OK, you can see if I click the drop down here, it will show up. So what I want to do now is I want to do that lookup. Right? So I'll do the lookup. I'll just type lookup. And I want to look up basically the intersection of the region and space the intersection of the period. Now you'll notice if I do that, it's going to give me an error. So basically what it's doing is it's looking up uh, the values in that cell, which is um, basically uh, text. So this text or that name range, it's basically a range. And so what you need to do is you need to use the indirect function in front of both of these to pull out uh, the range of cells that are in that named range. So if I go here and type indirect, now let me go ahead and tap to complete it. And then I'll go ahead and close that parentheses here and do this, oops, close parentheses there and do the same thing for B9 here, indirect. And I'll go ahead and tab to complete it and do a closing parentheses here. Press enter. Now you notice, now it's correctly uh, find the value. So we look at north, north is over here, quarter two is over here, 763. Let me go ahead and change it. Let's go to west and maybe quarter four. And we go to quarter four and now we have 563. So that's basically what it's doing. Um, we have that indirect function that is looking past that name range or that name for the range of cells that it represents and that's what it's doing. So this is a way that you can do a lookup on a table using the range intersection feature in Excel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.